I'm Matt Manthe, I'm the founder, owner, brewer at Odd Breed Wild Ales. Been into brewing now about 16 years. I got into brewing back when I was in college. Quickly decided to change my major to microbiology with the objective of one day opening my own brewery. I've worked at several breweries uh, around the US. I've also worked as a consultant. Received my brewmaster's diploma from VLB in Berlin, Germany. Been working on opening this project for quite a while. Founded the company back in 2015. We've uh, now been open almost four years. We focus exclusively on barrel-aged wild ales. The product that we make uh, takes anywhere from about one to three three and a half years to make. The production process is more like wine than typical beer. Uh, so I decided to go into the wild ale niche uh, for a few reasons. I would say most importantly, uh, this is the type of beer that I'm most passionate about. And again, if you're gonna start a business, you have to do something that you're passionate about or that you're otherwise willing to put in a lot of hours for. For me, this is it. So we have a uh, cat and a barrel on our logo there, uh, in part because cats are very common at breweries, uh, particularly small breweries in Europe, and uh, also cats are kind of a, an odd breed in that uh, they do what they want, they're very independent. So you notice we have a cat that lives here at the brewery, his name is Frankie. Uh, he moved in about a year and a half ago, he was actually a stray, he was living out back, and uh, was just very friendly, he would always like, kind of follow me out to my car. and. Uh, if I left the back door cracked open, he'd kind of wander inside. And he would uh, say hello to the guests and, and kind of just hang out here. And one day he just pretty much refused to leave. The name Oddbreed came from uh, the fact that we're a different type of brewery. We're not your typical brewery that's using yeast from a, a lab. Uh, we use our, our proprietary mixed culture of wild yeast and bacteria. And again, we're, we're a little bit more like a, a winery in a lot of senses than a, than a typical brewery. We're not making products that are ready in just a couple weeks. All of our beers take at least a year to make. We're definitely kind of outsiders. Uh, we're in a, a different niche. Uh, we feel like the name Oddbreed is fitting. You know, one thing I, I really enjoy about the kind of beer that I make here, it's a uh, very minimally processed and what I mean by that is that you know you, you buy any kind of beverage from a, a convenience store for example see how many ingredients it has in it I don't use any processing aids here I'm not adding any additional enzymes I'm not adding yeast nutrient it's a very natural process I'm not even forced carbonating meaning all of the carbonation that's in the beer is produced naturally from a secondary fermentation in the bottles or in the kegs you can pronounce every ingredient that's that's in the beer is almost unheard of today in beverage manufacturing a, a consumer that sees our product you know outside of the brewery somewhere I think that they're pretty unlikely to confuse us with a, a macro adjunct lager simply because of our, our packaging and our price point. If you see a, a 750 milliliter green champagne bottle of beer that's uh, $25 a bottle, you shouldn't buy that bottle of beer expecting it to taste something like like a, you know, a Bud Light. It's, it's not. <laughs> we rinse the fruit, uh, cut it up, add it into this tank. Uh, right now I'm putting CO2 into the tank. Uh, which basically just helps to keep a, an inert environment. I don't want any oxygen in there. And uh, then I'll be transferring beer out of this tank and into here on top of the fruit where it will re-ferment for about four to six weeks. Uh, the beer that's in this tank was, uh, was aged in barrels for a full year and uh, already has a really nice character. It's essentially a finished beer. Uh, but it will re-ferment this fresh fruit, uh, really incorporates that nice fresh fruit flavor. You know, social media, online sales, that's now a huge part of your business. It's definitely important to embrace that type of uh, changing technology, changing consumer habits, and also, you know, just finding a way to make your product more accessible to people. Uh, the most costly part of my brewery and the production process is time. Time and patience. All of our beers take at least a year to make. I have beers that age in barrels for over three years. There's a lot of loss from evaporation in that, but it's also very risky. Uh, when you age beer in barrels for that long, it doesn't always turn out the way that you had hoped. The brewing industry is a very hands-on job, especially if you're in a smaller brewery, and more so if you are the founder, owner, and the brewer. Uh, you know, I, I don't have any employees, actually, that are on the production side. I, I uh, have some friends who help me out on bottling days, and I do have uh, two part-time bartenders but otherwise I'm, I'm doing just about everything else myself. Uh, you know, I guess I was a little concerned with wild ales being more difficult to market. You know, I think having a, a niche product does in some ways help us stand out. You know, a lot of that goes, goes uh, hand in hand with the, our packaging. You know, we're packaging most of our beer in green 750 milliliter champagne bottles with a cork and cap. Obviously it looks very different from a typical beer. I think you stay above the competition, honestly, by just being genuine, being authentic, trying to make the best product that you can, 
not relying on gimmicks or trends, not relying on IP theft, which is rampant in the industry right now. I'm working on trying to build a business and create a brand that, that I want to last for a long time. I think that you have to have a long-term mindset in any kind of business, but especially in craft beer. Our beer is currently distributed in about 20 countries. Uh, we're everywhere in Western Europe right now, some countries in Eastern Europe, but we also have our beer for sale on our website. The brewery is in Pompano Beach, Florida.